The young people taking big risks, creating big problems for car owners. And Peoria, one of the worst in Illinois, now enters the task force, armed with millions to put the stop sign out. Good Thursday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Too often, these criminals have a green light to take property in or on the car or the actual ride itself. Now police will try a coordinated state-funded approach. Lizzie Siles has tonight's top story. In May alone, there have been more than 100 reports of vehicle break-ins, according to the Peoria County Sheriff's Office. That's a near 60% increase from last year. Law enforcement anticipates those crimes won't slow down this summer. It's not just a problem in Peoria, it's a problem throughout the state, but Peoria uh, has had a, a rough share of this or a rough patch of this. Thefts aren't just more frequent, but more violent, too. Sheriff Chris Watkins says the perpetrators, often juveniles, are smashing windows, robbing at gunpoint, and going on high-speed joyrides with these stolen cars. We see, I mean, it's a core of 50 of them that are going out and doing this, but they're bringing more and more with them. So, I mean, we're seeing it younger and younger. We're seeing 13-year-olds, 12-year-olds that are in these cars, and that's scary. This task force hopes to catch the main perpetrators. It pulls together two Peoria police detectives, two deputies, and two officers from the Secretary of State, plus a prosecutor with the state's attorney's office. In the meantime, they're asking drivers with high-risk cars like Kias or Hyundais to take precautions. These are one of the tools that law enforcement are recommending to protect your car from getting stolen. It takes about 10 seconds to install. First, get one hook around your brake. Then, get the other hook over your steering wheel. Just like that, there's a line of defense for car owners. The task force is not up and running yet. The sheriff's department will interview to place deputies on the task force next week. The state grant could also get renewed for four years, totaling about a $9 million investment from the state. Lizzie Siles, 25 News.